I would say it started probably when I was a kid. I absolutely enjoyed um, and things like Christmas and, and um, you know, my birthday. Every kid does. But um, it was to see the new stuff that was coming out. To see uh, the new toys, you know. To go to the toy store and to just see the shelves filled with uh, the new items out. I think when I was a kid, it was just seeing rows and rows of Star Wars, rows and rows of He Man, uh, you know. And as I got older, there was Transformers, there was Mask. Um, it, was just, it was so neat to see um, these things either packaged or getting them and then opening up the package and checking them out. I have to say that's probably when the love of, of my love for, for toys actually came to light. Um, yeah, I'd have to say that was probably it. You know, I don't think I ever lost that that particular love for toys. Uh, I think that that's um, something that's always been with me. Uh, back when I was, was a teenager, you know, hitting 11, 12, 13, of course, most people moved on from that. Um, and I still had a very, very passionate uh, love for toys. You know, I'd still buy some stuff every now and again. And uh, of course, by that time, your friends are getting into football, and your friends are getting into uh, soccer and other sports, and, and, you know, I'm the one guy who's still, you know, buying action figures and toys and watching cartoons, because, you know, that was, that was another passion of mine, was being an artist, and kind of hiding that, because, you know, you get to that point where it's like, you feel almost ashamed that you're into it, you know, um... And that was a terrible feeling to have, you know. There's nothing, there's never there ever been anything wrong, in my opinion, as I've gotten older in life, with having a passion for collecting something. Um, you know, when I got even older, a few years older, my friends of mine were reading comic books and stuff like that. I not read comic books. I enjoyed them, absolutely. Still collected figures, you know, had some figures every now and again. You know, it wasn't until about late high school, after high school, that um, I started collecting like more frequently um, spawn figures and, and um, wetworks and and uh, Transformers was down, so there wasn't really much. I, I, Beast Wars was coming out, but at the time it wasn't something that I absolutely um, sought after. You know. Star Wars was getting ready to come out in a few years, and I spent a lot of money collecting those figures, you know. Um, to this day, I still collect Star Wars figures, you know, it just depends on what it is. I mean, those were some of the seeds that were sown in wanting to have my own toy store. I think it's always been there. The seeds have always been there in order to want to have a toy store. Now, granted, in, in my later years, in my 20s, I, I tried starting a store at one point. It was video games and stuff, and... And that didn't work out very well. And, and, you know, that was about the point where the internet was hitting really hard and, and uh, e-commerce was becoming something. And I think a lot of that, that, that failure at that time was trying to figure out, or, you know, try to race to grab a piece of that bubble. Um, and, of course, it popped. So, and, and finally I just decided that I would, you know, rely on some other things to make a living. And, 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 I, and I did. And, About a year, a few years ago, a few years ago, I talked to my wife, she's, you know, sometimes you seem really down and, and there's not, you know, like you're not passionate about doing something, what would you want to do? And I said, you know, I have really had the money to do it. I would want to have a, my own toy store, you know? I mean, I started collecting again after I got married, um, Transformers and Star Wars and, and it moved on to Japanese figures and things like that. Um, and that was, that was, you know, that's, that's kind of how it's been. So a few years ago when we had this conversation, you know, I just, I really enjoy 
uh, collecting and, and I really enjoy the passion of collecting and I'd like to share that with people. And uh, she said, well, you know, you should really try to do that. And I said, well, I probably should. Um, but I didn't feel ready for it. And uh, you know, as our kids got older, and we always teach our kids, you know, chase your dream, follow your dream, dream big. And, you know, the only limitation you have is you. And, uh, you know, at one point, my kids asked me, you know, what what is your dream? And I said, well, you know, my dream's to to have a toy store, to to share that, you know, to to be able to to provide that passion. And they said, well, my oldest says to me, he says, you're telling us to chase our dreams all the time. Uh, why don't you ever chase yours? You know, why don't why is it that you go to work every day and and um, you know, you seem like it's like it's a chore. Why don't you chase after your passion? And uh, you know he's right. And I, and I thought to myself, how can I inspire my children to chase after their dreams if their father doesn't? So that's uh, that's why I want to do this. You know, that's why I, I I've, I've opened this this up, this store up from hobbies to heroes. Um, I think that uh, we need a toy store out there, um, whether physical store or on the internet, where the premise is more the passion for collecting and not just the bottom dollar, you know? I mean, we see a lot of toy stores out there and there's a lot of, of money that can be made, that could be made and usually is made but when you make those purchases, especially online, they come to you with such a lack of passion or, you know, I mean, it was, we got your money, but I'm going to give you really, really bad service, or I'm going to give you a package that's beat up, or I'm going to give you the contents of the package that wasn't protected so that when you get it, you're not going to have joy in it. Whether you like to keep figures in the box or take them out, um... You know, I'm going to let you know that the condition I choose to, to send it in isn't going to be that that displays the fact that it's passion. It's that I got your money, thanks, and, you know, if you want to buy from me again, great. If not, oh well, I got your money, you know. From Hobbies to Heroes is really about taking the time to show that passion for the figures. You know, they're, they're figures I would own and, they're, and, and shipping them out really is about how I would want to receive them. You know, I want someone who, who is passionate about collecting, taking the time to send me a figure the way that I would send it to them. You know, um, and that's really what we're about. It's not just about, you know, the purchase. It's about the passion. We have um, a year plan currently. We're trying to um, set up the store right now. Um, it's been the first year kind of getting our name together. We we have a website from obviousheroes.com. We have an eBay store. And we, well, we're limited right now to as many purchases that we can put up per month. And we have an, uh, an Amazon store where we're doing all our own fulfillments. And that allows us to ensure the quality of shipping out products. And we're, we're selling everything from Star Wars figures, Transformers, um, import Japanese figures, um, Figma, SH Figure Arts, um, pop figures, things like that, uh, statues whatnot, uh, Bushido figures, or the Bushido statues, so um, we, we, we want to get that out there to our fans, or into our, um, to our customers, um, not just customers, but friends, we want to make friends with you guys, we want to, we want to be your friend, we want to be um, someone that you can rely on in order to get um, the items that you want, so.
Uh, to do that, we, we need to raise more money. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's really difficult to get a lot of things in um, without having the extra money in order to do that. Uh, so we're raising money on social media and social crowdfunding sites in order to be able to get the word out, um, raise the money, get some product in, be able to ensure that we have that on stock when you want it, to get the new items that are coming out, not, not have to at, you know raise the price on these part, on these figures just because we get so few of them and, and um, everyone else is getting so many. We also want to be able to provide um, better storage for them and things like that. I have shelving over here and, and you can see behind me there's, there's some of the stock and inventory um, that we have. Um, that's just a fraction of, of some of the things that we're getting in. Um, and we like to get more. We like to be able to provide more. We like to be able to provide it at a better cost and a better price and uh, be able to ship it out to you as quickly as possible. Um, we'd also like to spend the next year building up, you know, what we have online, building up our name, getting it out there in the community. But after that year, we are looking at wanting to build a store. Um, we want to have a storefront, we want a physical location. And in order to do that, again, we, we still need to have the funds in order to set things up like that. These are, these are not things that are, um, though that will be easier, be cheap, but it'll give us a better base of operations in order to set things up. I run this out of my home right now, um, which can be kind of trying and difficult because um, you don't have that, that, that space that you can always um, lock up. Now we keep things pretty secure for our inventory, of course, but um, you know, it's not the same as, as having a store and having a, 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 a separate location to have that, that um, resources necessary. So that's another reason why we want to raise money uh, in order to, to do that. And, and while we're here at Cedar Park in Texas, um, you know, cost of living, the cost of running a business is, is far more expensive down here. Um, and we want to kind of reduce some of that cost and, and put ourselves in a, in a better location. Um, and and uh, that's another reason why we're, we're trying to raise the extra funds so that we can be in a more cost effective environment we can take those savings and, and put them to our customers. So, um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to uh, ask you for help. Uh, everyone who watches this video, everyone who, who comes to uh, our website from Hobbies to Heroes, everyone who comes to our Amazon site from Hobbies to Heroes or eBay Hobbies to Heroes, um, anyone who comes to our Hobby to Heroes Twitter page, our uh, Hobbies to Heroes Facebook page, uh, and likes us and shares this, I'd, I'd like everyone to, to help us out. I mean, even if it's just a dollar, um, even if it's just five dollars, everyone a little bit helps and it gets us closer to a goal. And, you know, um, I'd like to ask you to help me with that. Um, which is really difficult for me. I'm not uh, someone who's really good about asking for help. Um, but I also know that by asking for help, I am um, showing my children that, you know, it's okay to chase your dreams. And the only way to do that is by following every aspect in order to do so. So um, I'm gonna invite all of you who can to either get the word out, share our campaign, um, or even just, if you can donate a dollar, um, a dollar or two, please help us out. Um, you're not just giving it to a business, you're giving it to someone who loves what they do, who loves um, being able to provide and share his passion with other people. Um, so please, um, I want to thank you more than anything for watching this, for taking the time to watch this, and I want to thank you for visiting our sites. And even if you don't, if you aren't able to, to donate to our cause, like us, follow us on Twitter, um, watch us grow. I mean, the tag uh, we use on, on Twitter is the startup building from the ground up. And it really is that. I'm, I am scraping everything together from the ground up. Um, 
and and it's it's been a, an amazing learning experience uh, to start your own business, to um, figure out how to do it, to market yourself, um, and not be able to have all that the extra money to do the advertising and to to pay for that advertising, to pay for the marketing for for GoFundMe's or for Kickstarters or for you know those other crowdfunding sites. Um, I have to rely on word of mouth and um, and get the word out there. So um, thank you for all that you do. Watching this video is is um, just as valuable to me as whether or not uh, you, you're able to donate. So please continue to be with us, continue to follow with us, and continue to do um, everything that you do. We are grateful for you. We are truly grateful for who you are um, and your friends to us, your friends and uh, to Hobbies to Heroes, uh, from Hobbies to Heroes. And uh, we can't thank you enough for that.